All right, so Jimmy Dore uh, has uh, exited the building, and I think that a lot of you probably have seen his video talking about that. And uh, and he used to host Progressive Progressive, this show, along with the Jimmy Dore show. Uh, and so, uh, first thing I'd like to say is, I love Jimmy Dore, uh, and <laughs> I always have, and I hope that I always will. And and so it, it's um, certainly not anything personal at all. And we had uh, wonderful, wonderful moments on air with Jimmy uh, throughout uh, a great number of years here at the Young Turks. I don't know if it's number one or top three or top. I haven't done the calculation. We'll do it when uh, you know when I retire uh, twenty uh, years or days from now. Uh, but uh, uh, certainly, the Michigan primary in twenty sixteen was one of the top moments in Young Turks history, and. So when Bernie Sanders was supposed to lose by 18 points, uh, me, Jimmy, John Iroll are covering that primary. And he just would not go down. And we had the greatest time. And we talked of whispering of a dream uh, that he could win. And then people thought we had it wrong, but hold the phone. Because <laughs> Bernie Sanders might yet be president. Uh, and, uh, and so, but. Not only covering the primaries together, not only doing this show, just in every thing that we did. Jimmy is wildly entertaining. And so the other day I was watching MSNBC, which is a sentence I don't often speak. And it's because I was on vacation and I was sick and I had nothing to do. And my wife turned it on. And and I saw a lot of not only why Jimmy Dore and so many other progressives get so upset at cable news. Uh, and I do too, but I, we, I basically I watch the clips that we show you guys uh, that appeared online, etc. Right, and what our producers find. Uh, but um, and 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 it also gave me a little bit of insight into why it appeared we had a bigger difference on the Russia story than than even we did. We did, definitely had differences, no question about it. And so sometimes people will tell me like, "Hey, uh, you know, why don't you get Jimmy to agree with you?" Because that's not what we do here. Right? Have people, has any of these people met Jimmy? <laughs> right, yeah. Why don't I get Jimmy to agree with me? <laughs> good luck, brother. Good luck. But by the way, why doesn't Jimmy get me to uh, get me to agree with him? Because good luck, brother. Good luck. <laughs> right. So that's not what we do. We do have strong opinions. Opinions here. We do have varied opinions on the TYT network. Uh, but um, you know, MSNBC would not stop talking about Russia. And if I watched them every day, as Jimmy did for a while, and Kyle and others. Kyle Kalinsky from Secular Talk, it would have driven me crazy too, right? And and whenever I turned it on, and I used to talk about it in post games, etc., they'd always be talking about Russia. Just, just stop already for a second. Let's talk about other things as well, right? As well. So anyway, I I, I saw Brian Williams on, and he was doing housekeeping, and it reminded me of Jimmy because he always jokes around about that. And he's like, all right now. Uh, the Mueller report is going to come out on uh, was it Monday that he came out or Saturday? Thursday. Thursday or whatever it was. It was like he's like it's going to come out uh, on Thursday, the day before or three days before Easter. <laughs> like why are you why are you saying that? Like what? what and he was like seven seventeen. <laughs> like we're not on the radio anymore. <laughs> anyway, but the overall point was God, it was dull, and you know, and I watched that. And I watched Jimmy Dore, and I go, well, one is clearly better than the other. And and I remember calling Jimmy one day because I watched Jerry Seinfeld's stand up on Netflix, and and it was terrible. <laughs> and I like Seinfeld. I love the show Seinfeld. I have great respect for Larry David, and yes, for Jerry Seinfeld. But he's making jokes about you know, hey, isn't it obnoxious to call life serial life? Whereas Jimmy's dangerous. And and so some people don't enjoy that danger. I do, <laughs> and I, I'm proud that we had him on our network for so long. And I'm proud that he said that there was no collusion during the election, and on that he was right. And so we still have plenty of disagreements on that issue on other matters, but we we never shut it down. No matter how much people that didn't agree with Jimmy wanted it to be shut down, we never shut down Secular Talk or Majority Report, and they have wild differences of opinion there either, because that's not what we do. 
Anyway, look, I'm also proud of the associate, the, the staff here at Aggressive Progressives. I almost called you guys Associated Press uh, <laughs> because you are just that somber. Uh, so it's not just Jimmy. It's, Steph obviously is wonderful uh, and, and please, she's also still on the Jimmy Dore show. So uh, keep checking that out, Steph uh, Zamorano obviously. Malcolm, Sophie who's the producer here, Skip, Brendan, Jacori, Bart who does audio, Edwin uh, who often uh, does uh, stage managing, but Craig as well. Uh, Asher, Judith, uh, Carlos and, and obviously Steve-O as well. Um, so thank you for doing a, a wonderful show here guys. and. Look, it's not like Jimmy's gone. It's not. This isn't a funeral, right? <laughs> so you can catch him on the Jimmy Dore Show uh, on YouTube. Uh, you could also go to JimmyDoreComedy.com, <coughs> and uh, and I'm positive that we will uh, continue to do things together. Uh, I mean, you want to talk about raging? He, here's a guy uh, who is, um, in a lot of ways, and I don't say this in a bad way. I say it in a good way. Uncontrollable. So a lot of people on television are very, very controllable. And you watch their programming and it is intensely dry. And it's dry for a purpose because they are hired to protect the status quo. They're, they're, they are basically instructed and pre-selected uh, to not rock the boat. So here's who rocks the boat, <coughs> Jimmy Dore. Uh, so bless his heart and, and I wanna thank him for all the wonderful moments we had and the, and the great shows that he did on the TYT network. Yeah, so I worked with Jimmy for what, two years, three years on this show alone. But um, I first met Jimmy when he was a guest host, I think when you were out of town at our old studios back on Wilshire Boulevard, um, like 10 years ago, like yeah. eight years, nine years ago. And I thought he was really good. He, he came on with Frank Conniff. And, um, and you know, Jimmy jokes about how he's a jack off comedian who didn't get a great education, blah, 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 and how he's a dummy. Uh, no, he's not. He's extremely smart, uh, and I think he uh, asks questions better than almost anyone. Um, and what I love about Jimmy uh, is that, as you said, he's uncontrollable. Like he's a he stirs a pot, right? And he doesn't do it just for the sake of stirring the pot. He does it because you know we learned a valuable lesson after uh, the run to the Iraq War, and we should have known this. You know, we had the same issue back in the Vietnam War. Every war is built on so many lies. You know, at best, it's a justifiable war also built on lies, right? Mm -hmm. Usually it's just unjustifiable and built on lies. So Jimmy has been asking questions. He doesn't accept the narrative from the mainstream media or the government ever. And he keeps asking and he's asking and he asks questions that are uncomfortable. So even if he is wrong on some of these issues, I love it that he's asking. And then if he's right on those issues because he's asking and he's getting to the right answers, I mean, that's what journalism is all about. Yeah. So I'm so proud to have worked with Jimmy. And in addition to working with Jimmy, um, we become really good friends. You know, we have dinners together a lot. And uh, you know, his wife is wonderful. My kids think he's great. Uh, so he's become a true friend. So uh, I'm excited for him that he's get, he gets to pursue his dream. And by the way, when he goes on tour, you have to catch him. He is so much fun, and the entire crowd is into it. And the whole thing, I mean, he's funny and he's informative, but it's also like this really kind of a feel good moment. Like everyone is having a good time, it's fun, there's a lot of camaraderie and afterwards we all hang out together with the, with the audience, it's fantastic. Yeah, and so, uh, you know, some people say, hey, you know, Jimmy's been wrong once or twice. Show me someone who hasn't, yeah. right? Guess who's been wrong once or twice uh, or 10 or 20 times? Me, yeah. right? And uh, or 100 or 200 times, people on MSNBC. I, I know I keep picking on MSNBC, but you know, like if somebody gives me crap for, hey, Jimmy Dore worked in the Young Turks or or whoever, right? Or or Sam Cedar. Look, because they, I just picking those two because they disagree with each other so much, right? So they can't both be right <laughs> about about those issues. Really, how, how about Malcolm Nance, who was celebrating the arrest of Julian Assange for doing journalism, who's on MSNBC? That total hack from the security you know establishment and national intelligence and security apparatus how about James Clapper how about John Brennan all these people that MSNBC has loaded up and so and and when have they been right <laughs> right whereas Jimmy can point to countless times and I think that this entire network can point to countless times 
where we challenged the government and it turns out we were right. And so, so anyway, long way of saying I'm incredibly proud of him and I, I wish him the best and, and don't, so make sure you go to jimmydorecomedy.com and check that out. And as far as aggressive progressive is concerned, look, we need a, a great host. So we're, we're gonna take a little bit of a break while we, while we work on that because it's not like he's easy to replace. Oh Yeah, we had another great progressive host. We're just keeping him in the garage. Let him out now. Let him out, right? So, so we're gonna have to work on it, and we hope that we can collaborate with you guys and get your input as always. Tyt.com. Give us your thoughts on who it should be, and and we'll continue this. But I love this show, and I think this show is necessary. So as soon as we can, we'll get it back up and running. I personally didn't care for Jimmy Dore. <laughs> just uh, go on record, just so you know. But Steph was great. Yeah, he's been Kept writing Steph's coattails for, Steph. for yeah. decades yeah. now, and somebody has to call him out on it. <laughs> and now that he's not, I'm not working with him, I can. And it's freeing, it's really emancipating. <laughs> Glad for that. All right, so uh, so that's what the, the future will hold for aggressive progressives. We love Jimmy Dore, we're sorry to see him go, but we wish him all the best and hope to work with him again in the future.